Sup tubes. I'm gravy fries. I come bearing theories. <laughs> Giovanni is is a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna clarify that, but everybody's probably thinking like, what are you even talking about? What do you mean he's a warlock? Well, I'm gonna explain it to you. So, tales first for those who aren't mega nerds like I am and don't look all this crap up. <laughs> um, there are multiple countries in Empathetic Race, but there's only a few. There's like a handful and I don't, I don't remember all of them. I will get to that point, but <laughs> as of right now, there's the jungle country, I believe that's what it's called, <laughs> that uh, that's actually where Molly's mom comes from and Howie comes from there as well. Uh, Taiga is essentially Caucasian in their universe, like a city girl or city boy type of thing. That is what uh, Martin and Lorelai are. Well, Lorelai's partially jungle because of her mom, but uh, Martin is a Taiga, meaning that, it, you know, that is confirming that Molly has jungle and Taiga in her but okay then you have i believe it's called lake country they're travelers um mira has a part of that in her as well the desert country that's what indus is talking about in like the uh, museum arc and then finally <laughs> we have the ocean country yeah <laughs> The ocean country is the weirdest, most interesting one out of all of them because they were a race of witches and warlocks that studied dark magic, but they were harassed and mistreated so much on the surface that they decided, you know what? No, screw this, we out. And then put themselves underwater. <laughs> and there are ocean country people above the water, but none of them are pure blood. Essentially like, uh, Molly, is taiga and jungle right okay they are basically like maybe one sixth maybe ten percent ocean country with a bunch of other stuff mixed in i think giovanni might be one of the closest to beer blood and what i mean by that is i believe he is actually at least 20 percent ocean country now another thing that i need to explain for this theory to make any sense is each country or race in general has specific hair colors, eye colors, skin tones, and even body types that tell you, oh hey, they have a little bit of that race in them. You know, as normal life races have certain things that tell you a difference or a minor difference to their body. A physical change, if you will. Well, the thing that caught my attention was they said people who have ocean country in them tend to have really bright colored hair. So you would think that would mean stuff like sky blue or white. Yes, but it also said naturally pink hair. Who do we know has naturally bright pink hair? That's also the reason why I had the poll. For those who actually saw that on uh, the Amino, yeah, that's why that was there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Giovanni has naturally bright pink hair. And there had to be a sperm donor. And like I said, there's some that are on the surface. They're just not pure-blooded ocean country. Well, the thing is, they could come from underwater. Like, pure blood ones could come to the surface if they wanted. There's nothing really stopping them there. To my knowledge, anyway. And wouldn't you know it, uh, the guy at the end of season one, uh, he, I, I won't get into anything major here, but he, he has ocean country. I won't say anything else, but he has ocean country. Uh, <laughs> he, he is the closest to pure blood, right? <laughs> I may or may not be leading up to something here, but he also has, um, he also has bright pink little shades in his hair. And, uh, his ears are kind of spiky, you know, like somebody else we know, their ears stick out like a sore thumb. I'm saying, um, and, uh, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, another reason I'm leading up to this, I'm giving you a chance to back out now because we are about to get into spoiler territory. That ocean country thing was the weakest I could get. You better back up, but yeah, boys, Rick Shades is Giovanni's sperm donor. <laughs> He's the one who donated to Gio Mommy and made Giovanni. <laughs> and I can't say much like this. Basically, Rick Shades is full-blooded ocean country and can use dark magic. And just, he's awesome. <laughs> and he's already been through a bunch of wacky adventures in anime campaign. So in my eyes, it would make sense if maybe he thought it would help somebody to donate a sperm so they could have a child. And for another thing I feel makes a great point that definitely, you know, to me proves what I'm saying. 
uh, Bellatrix, or Trixie, who's one of Molly's friends, uh, you saw her at the end of season one as well, uh, she, in fact, is Giovanni's cousin. <laughs> I mean, she was an anime campaign. I don't know if she still is. To my knowledge, she is. But, yeah, she's Giovanni's cousin. Uh, not on his mom's side. Uh, I believe it's on the Spromderna's side, from what, from what I know. Again, <laughs> I'm going off stuff from TV trope or trivia, like, <laughs> but... <clears throat> it's on uh, his dad uh, on the sperm donor side, right? Okay, she has bright pink hair, and you're thinking, well, yeah, of course she would if they're Ocean Country. No, 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 no. Something else that proves he's Ocean Country <laughs> in anime campaign, and I'm pretty sure she can still do this. She uses dark magic <laughs> and and can summon ghosts and stuff. Again, anime campaign. I'm very I'm very weak on that knowledge, <laughs> but yeah, from what I know. And I'll totally correct this entire video if I'm if any of this is like majorly wrong. But yes, from what I know, the woman can use dark magic. Therefore, should be running in the bloodline. Long story short, I have a theory that Giovanni is from Ocean Country and can use dark magic. He can pull a raven. Oh, and Rick Shades is his sperm donor. Well, enough of my conspiracy theories. <laughs> no, seriously, guys. Thank you for watching this and I can't be the only one who thinks this. This stuff, to me, just stacks up, okay? Also, Rick Shades is great. I love him. <laughs>